Colleen, would you explain Google Guaranteed? Because businesses are seeing it and wondering, should they spend the time and money to get involved in it? Sure. Google Guaranteed is a guarantee from Google that if you hire one of the companies that is Google Guaranteed, um, they will reimburse the customer up to $2,000 for that business's services if they are not happy if something is not done correctly and the business won't go in or can't go in and correct the problem that they initially came in on. Now that's not something petty like, okay, they left maybe a pile of swept dirt in your, in your dining room or something. It has to be something major that they went in to fix say a plumber went in to replumb your bathroom and it's leaking and he, you can't get him back there to fix that leak. That's when Google will step in and reimburse you some of that money. So you can actually go out and get a different plumber per se. Uh, and it will also go against the business itself that they did not do something appropriate. What's involved in setting this up? Well, there's a lot involved in setting it up. Most of the time, uh, the business itself has to set it up. Uh, either that or they have to fork over a lot of information because they have to show, depending on what type of business they are, they have to show a, a business, license, business license. They have to show proof of identity of ownership um, and several other IRS information as far as a tax ID and different things like that that uh, they are filing with the IRS. They have to show all kinds of documentation showing who they really are, that they are a legitimate business and have been. Uh, so that all has to be set up. And then Google, of course, runs it through their people and verifies. There's also uh, criminal history checks on the owner and sometimes the employees. It just depends on the company again. They have to get all that verified. And then at that point, if everything goes through clear and stuff, then you are then allowed to be a Google guaranteed business and will show as such in searches. Google shows two businesses. Anytime you search for say HVAC Raleigh, they'll show two businesses that are Google guaranteed with a, uh, a look at more link click um, to see all of the guaranteed businesses. They automatically rotate those two that show up initially so that it is a constant different influx of what people are seeing. Then they will send you the lead if, if people click on you. And when they send you the lead, you have a dashboard that you have to fill out all the information for that lead that you've been sent. So in other words, you have to fill out that you called them. You have to fill out they're just pricing or you have to fill out sent sales out or sent rep out. Um, then if, if it's a lead that really has nothing to do with your business for some reason, you have to fill that out and contest it so you're not paying for it because you pay per lead and they are not super cheap leads. They are more expensive than your standard pay-per-click clicks. And the other thing you just brought up is you have to manage it because, you know, a business needs to know this is like spinning a top. If you set it up, you better have someone in your office that treats it like a hot potato and responds to it or you're damaging your reputation with Google right out of the box. Exactly. If you, if you don't keep on, uh, on top of that and, and reply in your dashboard, uh, Google will just slowly start, you know, stop sending you leads because they feel you're not paying attention to them. You really need to fill that information out for Google so that they understand that this that you are paying attention to them and if they come in that you are contacting these people and whatever's happening from that point on if you leave those blank you're asking just for a whole lot of trouble you know it's just not they're not going to keep sending them to you if they don't know you're actually doing something with them i think that's so important because someone should not start this unless they have somebody in the office that knows this is like someone walking through the door if someone walks through the door at a plumber's office, they're not going to just ignore them. They're going to interact with them right away. And if they don't, they're they're damaging their reputation, damaging their leads, and damaging what they all set up with this. So I think that's extremely important point that this is something you must, if you're going to do this, you must set things up and make darn sure you got someone in place that's going to jump on this when it happens. Exactly. It's not like leads nearby or any other lead gen type software, they'll, those guys send a lead 
uh, to say five to 10 to I don't know how many people in your area when they get it. And so it's up for grabs for all these people and it's first kind of first call, first get, right? But if you don't call on them, they don't care because they're sending them out to a bunch of people and they're charging you either by lead or, or by month on those leads. And, and they don't care if you haven't been calling them right away because they're sending them to a bunch more people. Google does care. Google wants to know exactly what you're doing with that lead. Because you are actually, someone seen your listing, saw that it's guaranteed and clicked on you. So it's not right. like some general blank lead generation. So let me go ahead and share screen and, and go over some of this. Again, these are the paid ads right at the top, right here. We got paid ads here at the top, sponsored mm -hmm. ads. Then we scroll down and I'm gonna open it up and what we see is guaranteed, guaranteed. So these are the guarantees are sitting right at the top here. This is different mm -hmm. than the other. So then if I call them or interact with them, Google knows, hey, someone came in from your guaranteed leads. You can click this, will tell you a little bit more about it with some links. But if I choose to interact with this, details, get, get it done quickly. Here's the details and write, it tells you more about it. And, and so it does have a value, but again, don't set this as, stuff up unless you one set it up right and two make sure someone's managing it right definitely yes you have to be managing it and staying right on top of it or you're wasting a lot of your money first of all and second of all you know google again will start it's just like anything google it's like a website if you let a website set stagnant for two years google quits searching it and and skimming it they don't bring it up that much anymore because you're not doing anything with it. They think it's kind of a dead website, right? Dead in the water. Well, this is the same way with this Google guaranteed. If you aren't filling out that dashboard and letting them know, they think you're not paying attention. It's dead in the water. Colleen, you help people with this. Please tell people how, how do you work with them? Because you also work with pay-per-click ads. You also work with setting up Google Maps listing or Google Business Profiles and this right yeah um i can advise them on this if they want to give me the login to their main google account and it has to be the google account that is hooked to the google professional profile i can fill out the paperwork and send it in if they want to give me the paperwork and don't want to take the time to do that internally i can do that also and then what i do from that point on is i kind of monitor their dashboard to make sure that they're taking care of business like they should be so that they don't stop getting ads. Yeah, excellent. Please. Please. I think it's important if people are going to handle it well. And and if they aren't and they don't have the structure, like imagine I'm a one person show and I get calls and I really can't get to them very often. I'm not. Right. Then uh, I think they should at least think through that they better make this a high priority interruption of their day if they're going to do it. Right. Yeah, they definitely need to do that. And even if, say, they can't, they're not sitting at a desk, but they can grab the phone. A lot of uh, your contractors have their phone right on them and will grab it most of the time. That's okay. Fill out the dashboard when you go home that night. Okay. Or every other night, fill out the dashboard, but keep that dashboard filled out so Google knows you are calling them back, getting the phone calls, talking to the consumer, and that sort of thing. Fantastic. Colleen, how can people reach you? I'm uh, My company is Boomerang Social Marketing at boomerang-social.com, and I can be reached via uh, contact forms and phone number on my website. So please feel free to visit that, boomerang-social.com. Great. Thanks so much for covering this. Thanks, Martin. Take care. Thank you.